What's going on, y'all? It's Andrew, and today I'm gonna be installing a little voltmeter, my Honda Civic. This is a DB Link, and it's blue, and it matches a lot of the lights inside of my car. I just like blue inside for some reason. But I'm going to end up trying to see if I can uh, see if I can show you this. I'm gonna see if I can mount it, maybe like right here. So I'm just gonna drill some holes, and then run the cables to the back of the head union. I'll show y'all that in a second. So let's get into it. So I've taken the radio out before. I've had two different radios and this is the Alpine I got right now. Really good radio, by the way. But anyways, since I already took out the radio before, I took out a few of the screws so it's easier for me to take it out uh, in the future. So really all I'm doing is just pulling this whole thing out and then pulling this whole thing out as well. But usually there's like a screw here and I think there's another screw. Uh, I can't remember, but there's like at least one screw that goes up. You got to unscrew that and then this whole piece comes out and then you can remove this side too. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and show y'all what wires you got to uh, tap into. So to make this easier for me, I'm going to uh, attach the red and the blue wire. Basically what the red one is, is power. And the blue is also power, but it's like remote. So like whenever the car turns off, uh, this turns off as well. But what I'm going to do is connect the two and connect it to... This red wire right here, because I know this red wire right here is the ignition. So whenever the car is off, it turns off as well. You don't want to connect it to a constant like the yellow. The yellow is a constant and it will stay on even when the car is off. So I'm going to get a little T-tap. I'll show you all of that in a second and then go ahead and tap in. And then, of course, I got to find the, uh, what's it called? The uh, negative or the ground somewhere on here. I just got to find it. It's just usually a black cable. I think that's it right there. So let's go ahead and continue. So this right here is the T-tap I was talking about. You just close this on a wire that you don't want to have to like cut or whatever. You just snap that in. And then this goes on the other side to connect to a new wire. So basically why I'm doing that is so I don't have to undo all these cables. I can just tap into it similar to, I think I have a T-tap. That's a T-tap right there. I tapped into a remote wire. So I'm going to do that on the red wire and then the black wire. And... That's it, really. So after I do that, just gotta run the run the uh, speaker wire that I'm gonna use. Drill a little hole right here for the wires and then for the screws, and then it's basically done. So let's get into it now. All right, y'all. So I got the T taps in. So all you do is close them, and he, you're gonna hear a snap, and then that's how you know they're all in. So I got it uh, tapped into the negative or the ground, and I got it connected to this uh, red, which is basically uh, a power that turns off when the car is off. So now, I also got the connection to those connected to this little speaker wire that I had laying around. So this right here is gonna go to the red and the blue of this right here. And then this one right here is gonna be my negative. So obviously it's gonna be connected to this negative. So I'm gonna ho hook it up real quick before I start like tucking all the wires and stuff just to make sure everything, every just to make sure everything works, my bad. So let's go ahead and uh, test it out and see if it's working. All right, guys, so as you can tell, the wire is janky, but obviously I'm just trying to test it out. They will be fixed later. So don't talk about this. I get, I do have some shrink wrap that I'm going to fix this with. So y'all stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and test it out and see if it works. All right, guys, so the moment of truth, I'm going to go ahead and uh, crank the car up and see if it turns on. So let's see. 11 volts right now, and the car is still in accessory mode. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, see what the voltage is when it's already on. There you go. That voltage is low, for sure. But hey, it's working. Everything's working correctly. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hide the wires and make everything look pretty. So gotta go ahead and get a drill and see if I, where I exa exactly where I wanna mount it. So stay tuned for that. Let's get it. All right, y'all, so I got my drill and I figured out where I wanna mount it. I'm just gonna line it up right with this thing right here. Go mount it right there. That'll be the perfect spot for me to be able to see it even when I'm driving. So I'm gonna do two holes for the uh, screws. There's two screws in the back of this and then maybe a small hole just to run the wires through. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into that. All right, y'all, so I got it all screwed in. So now I'm just gonna tidy up these wires and get back to y'all when it's, whenever it's done. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so everything's put back together. So let's go ahead and turn on the car and see what it look like. There you have it. 
Looking pretty good, y'all. I had it right there, so I'm driving. I can see it in the corner of my eye. And it looks good, y'all. So y'all let me know how it looks. And simple upgrade. Only reason I did this, cause like, you know, I have a lot of uh, speakers and amps in the back. So I just wanna make sure I can be able to see the voltage and have it accurate. So there you have it.